Hello everyone, and welcome back to the laboratory challenge! Woo! Alright, I hope you are ready to put on your lab coats and help me clean the petri dishes, because today we are going to be mixing and matching even more animal genes. And I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to be very, very excited about today's special guest. It's Meadow! Meadow, the beautiful gray wolf from our Wolf Quest 3 adventures. And I'm very excited to see where Meadow's story goes. I know a lot of you guys are big Wolf Quest fans, or you have played Wolf Quest at some point in your life. It feels like everybody in our community has at this point. And you are very eager to see the pop update for Wolf Quest 3, which I'm sure is going to come out any day now. I hope. I know all of us have our fingers crossed, but until then, we'll be able to see what Meadow's pups could look like here in our laboratory. And not only that, but if you guys haven't been following along, Meadow's story is getting extremely interesting in our Wolf Quest world because she has actually been roaming around a deserted city where something quite apocalyptic has happened and the entire city has been abandoned and left to uh, be completely overrun with wild dogs, coyotes, foxes, and now one very lost wolf who I'm very excited to spend some time with. And you know, the more time I spend with Meadow hanging out in that city, the more I am beginning to think that just perhaps it might be quite interesting to see what Meadow's pups would look like if they were not actually 100% purebred wolf pups. What do you guys think about that possible twist to her story? Because there have been a lot of stray dogs running around that city. And uh, then I got to thinking, what actually happens when you take a gray wolf and you crossbreed it with a German Shepherd! A beautiful German Shepherd! Look at this fluffy fur! Man, I miss fostering German Shepherds. I had a foster German Shepherd when I was younger and she was so sweet. We had her for about two years while we fostered her before she went off to do some training to help with uh, doing therapy and, and police dog sort of research. And she was really, really sweet. And we're actually naming this boy Hollywood. And I will let you guys know that he is not so sweet. He is actually very aggressive, and he can hold his own in the abandoned city that Meadow has happened to find herself in. So even though she's able to chase away a lot of the other stray dogs that were left behind by the people who abandoned this mysterious city that she walks through with the dust and crumbled ashes of the former human civilization still under her paws, she has not been able to scare away this particular fellow, Hollywood, because he's determined to stake out his part of the city. He tends to hang out around the police precinct, if that's because he is either a police dog or descended by it from police dogs, remains to be seen. But it does mean that he has a very smart personality. He knows how to patrol his area, even though he is quite adventurous. And he does have a sort of pointed, aggressive nature that he is able to channel into getting the job done. And usually, that job means defending his turf, so that that way, whoever comes by is not going to steal whatever food that he and the other dogs in his zone have been able to control. However, when he runs into Meadow, well... Slowly but surely, even though they snarl and bark, they fend each other off, they circle one another in constant aggression and occasionally fur flies, slowly but surely, times change. And a spark begins to light up between Meadow and Hollywood with respect to their mutual strength. And I think, my friends, that we just may see what happens when Meadow actually ends up having puppies with a German Shepherd. She might actually end up with pups from uh, Hollywood and will actually send her off to raise them on her own in a den. That may be what happens. You need to let me know if you think that story twist would be a pretty exciting one to add into our Wolf Quest tales, because I, I, I kind of think it would be. I kind of think it would be. But all right, so let's go ahead and prepare ourselves for the puppies. I have no idea what these pups are going to look like. If we do indeed try to have the wolf pups in Wolf Quest 3, I'll try to make a wolf that will inherit the next generation that will look a lot like 
whatever these pups look like. So we might do a vote, we might do a poll, we might just use like the cast create a pet as a way of sh saying, okay, actually they look like this, even if they don't look like the wolves and wolf quest three we'll have to see i think that could be really fun uh let me know down in the comments and keep your comments coming so that you guys might actually end up being named after uh you know some of these puppies so let's see what we've got let, let me pull up the first comment and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to have the very first one b let me make sure i got the name right all right here we go you ready <gasps> Demon eyes! No, that is definitely uh, a little boy who we're gonna name Shadow. So welcome to Shadow, and he is most certainly a uh, a very intimidating looking wolf. I think that Hollywood be would be quite proud to see like a son with these piercing red eyes to potentially chase away prey. Also, Maya, I love the idea of possibly mixing a lynx and a tiger. Let me go ahead and write that down in my notes so that we do not forget it for future crossbreed challenges. And let's go ahead and see Shadow. You are going to be vocal, a hunter, and adventurous. That's a very fun mix. I I, I really like that because I imagine. How? 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 Oh, I love it when they howl. That's so freaking cute. I imagine that he would definitely be howling at the moon uh, and pulling on that wolf heritage a little bit. But let's pull up his siblings. Okay, let me get the next name prepared. And now we are going to have, dun dun dun, a little girl named Sophia. Oh, look at her. What a cute little pink nose. Sophia, welcome to the family. You are smart and clever, just like your German Shepherd father. You are playful and you are also jumpy. Welcome, welcome to the family, Sophia. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, Major, you're supposed to be, there we go. All right, there, there we go. All right. And we're going to add in the next pup. Again, if we do have this happen in Wolf Quest, we will probably make Meadow raise the puppies on her own to give us an extra challenge of having to struggle uh, with trying our best to raise the puppies on our own. I'm so excited for when Wolf Quest 3 manages to have the pups. Then we'll just have endless generations. And Terry, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the family. Terry, you cannot produce wool. Uh, you are not part sheep, and you're also not part cow, so you can't produce dairy. However, Terry, you can be friendly. You can be smart, and you can be hairy. So you may not have the aggression of the others, and you may not be fit for a life in the intense wilds, but maybe a happy camper will take you in one day, little one. All right, let's pull up the next baby. Pretty excited about this. Oh my gosh, look at those ears! Oh, that's so freaking cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So let's come over here and we're going to name this one. <gasps> Hello. Holy cow. You're beautiful. I didn't even know we could get this coat color. This is going to be Versirion. Versirion, welcome. Welcome to the family. You are going to be a sleuth who is smart and jumpy. Oh my gosh, I love this coloring. And every single time I see it, it makes me want to eat Reese's Pieces so freaking bad. There are actually these amazing vegan Reese's Pieces from, oh gosh, what are they called? Oh no, I blanked out on the name. I promise you, they're delicious. They're unreal, unreal chocolates. That's what they are, and they're so amazingly good. I might have to get a little bit of chocolate as, as a little treat, just a little treat sometime soon. Hmm, gonna have to think about that. All right, moving on from this adorable Reese's Cup pup, let's go ahead and see what the next puppy is going to be. Let me pull up the name, and we're going to have... <gasps> wow, look how beautiful! This is gonna be Roxy! Roxy, welcome to the family! The name of one of my family's beloved Labradors who has since passed away from old age, but she was a good, good girl. Roxy, you are a sleuth who is friendly and loyal. We're getting quite the colorful array of pups, by the way. So far, nobody has been the same two colors. So I'm quite excited to see what this very last baby is going to be. And again, these wouldn't be the pups that we would have uh, in Wolf Quest, obviously. However, 
I love having them here. Oh, and another little black puppy. And this one's going to be Haley. Let's see. Spelled Holly. Holly, there we go. Holly, welcome, welcome. You look like you are ready to go into the wild. In fact, look at you. Though you have just been born, you are ready to bar those teeth, you are ready to be super independent, you're jumpy, you're aggressive, you know what you need to do to survive in the wild. So alright guys, now that Meadow has gone off and she has had this litter of pups, perhaps in the police precinct this time so that you know a few of them can stay behind with Hollywood if they need to, let's go ahead and see what they grow up into. Shadow, you're up first. Shadow, you cannot have a dragon tail. I am sorry to inform you. Or a skeleton tail. You can instead have a little nub tail. I will accept nub tail. <laughs> All right, guys. So our very first one is a wolf who possibly will come off uh, a little bit unintentionally derpy or aggressive to the other wolves because he has, or other dogs and wolves, because he has no tail. No tail with which to communicate. And as we have learned from our Wolf Quest adventures, wagging that tail around at different angles and different speeds is actually a very crucial part in how wolves communicate with one another. So I am somewhat tickled at the fact that we are missing a tail. But Shadow, otherwise, you are a strong and very handsome wolf with piercing red eyes that I think Hollywood is quite proud to have passed down somehow. I'm sure he'd take credit for that, even though, you know, his eyes are, like, totally brown. Sophia, you're up next. <laughs> Fluffy! Sophia, you also cannot have a dragon tail. I am sorry to inform you. Or, like, seven tails. There we go. But you can have a perky tail. Sophia, I'm gonna be honest, probably because she has a cute little pink nose, she does not look as aggressive as she should be. She too might find her way to a human home so that she can relax by the fireside, maybe in a cabin, and she can occasionally lift her head to howl to the, the wolves that she hears in the far distance. Ah, oh, beautiful Sophia. Terry, you're up next. I have high hopes you're the only one of this coloring. Oh, look at his ears! Okay, Terry, I think Terry's coloration and Terry's markings are my favorite so far. Look at you! You're so handsome! And I like that muzzle. That's a really good, strong muzzle on Terry. And I like the ears a lot. Like, that has a lot of potential. And he definitely looks not entirely like just a mutt dog. I think that you can tell there's a little bit of wolf in there. All right, Terry, you're doing good. And you also thankfully did not end up with uh, a weird tale. All right, Viserion, our wonderful Rhesus Cup pup. It's your turn. Viserion, why with the dragon tail? I do not understand why we have so many. Oh, he's got a little nub tail. Dang it. I think Viserion's my favorite, guys. He just reminds me of delicious, delicious chocolates. He's got a little nub tail. What is not to like with this little one? Look at him. Look at him. Okay, I really like him a lot. I, I really like him a lot. But the thing is, I want to make him like a pet. I don't want him to be like a wild wolf. I just want to like have him in my, my Sims family. This is so cute. Oh man, we're supposed to be creating like fierce protectors of the wilds. And instead I just have a whole bunch of adorable farm dogs that I want to snuggle. Roxy, what about you? What is with the dragon tail? You know what? This is probably a, a side effect of whatever mysterious element actually ended up chasing away the people from the city. Uh, if you have ever played Wolf Quest, then you'll know that Lost River happens to have some sort of chemical thing that happened to it. Some sort of meltdown. Uh, and I kind of like the idea that maybe their tails are the result of that. Oh, it's Twirly! Why? I love Twirly Doo Tails! I love the ears and the coloration and the, the muzzle on Terry. I love the coloration and the little knob tail on Viserion. And I love Twirly Doo Tail Shepherds. Oh my gosh, I love these ones. I love all of them. Haley, you're the last one up. And you, my dear, are a beautiful all black wolf who really harken back to the wilds of your family and remind me of your ancient ancestor, Eclipse. But all right, guys. I am pretty content with this. These guys actually turned out very similar to what I thought would happen. We ended up with a lot more color variety than I was expecting from the Wolf German Shepherd crossbreed. I love Roxy so much. I love all of them. I love Asterion's little nubdale. 
But let me know who your favorite is, and if you were going to choose one to possibly uh, appear in our Wolf Quest world, who would you pick? And if you were going to crossbreed wolves or German shepherds or any other strays that might be wandering in Abandoned City, who would you pick? I would love to see you down in the comments section, so keep those comments coming. And if you guys could, do please leave a like for our lovely wolf pack. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. <gasps> Roxy has two colored eyes! That's amazing! Bye bye